I'm Becker O'Shaughnessy, and I'm from Macon, Georgia, and I'm currently still enrolled at Alabama, and I just finished playing four years of collegiate tennis there, and I will have two classes left in the fall, and I'm going to go back and help be an undergraduate assistant coach, and now I'm currently an employee teaching tennis at Sea Island. Uh, I grew up loving playing all sports. I played soccer, football, baseball, everything, and, um, and I loved it, and I was competitive, extremely competitive, so any sport I could play, I'd challenge anyone to do it. I was on all different teams, and I did that all the way up until high school where I kind of had to narrow it down and focus on what sports I really wanted to pursue because I knew in a few years I'd be at a collegiate level, so I ended up running track, and I did high jump because I was able to be, it was able to be flexible with my tennis schedule, and I also played soccer my freshman year. But I think it's great um, to play sports growing up while you're young. They all kind of correlate together, uh, different things, competitiveness, footwork, and uh, everything's great. So uh, I think that kind of shaped me into who I am, playing all different kinds of sports. And once I kind of picked tennis and specialized in that and started doing well, and I kind of knew that I had a future in that, that's when I specialized more on strictly focusing on tennis. And, uh, so I grew up playing USDA tournaments. From I started tennis when I was 11, 11 and a half, which is kind of late for some people, they say. And so I caught on pretty quickly, and I played a lot of USDA tournaments, traveled all around the country. So as I got older, I was able to get looked at by college coaches at these bigger tournaments. But with my recruiting process, the main thing was when I was a sophomore, I made sure that I was on top of it, and I wrote out long emails. I sent out stuff to these coaches to make sure that they knew who I was. And so I wasn't just hoping for them to come to me just because if I got ranked high, they might look for me. I, I was proactive and went about it myself and got in contact with these coaches, which is something I think every player should do no matter what level you're at. Um, I think uh, taking official visits are, are great. Um, I took mine to Alabama and Georgia Tech, and you get to meet the whole team. You get to meet the players. You get to see what the atmosphere is like. You get to see the campus. The coaching staff, I think I feel like you get a good grasp of everything that the school has to offer. You're only there for a short period of time, but um, your time is well spent and you really get a good understanding of what the school's about, the education. I met with a lot of people within the department that I was look, uh, going into in finance. And um, so I, I felt like when I took my two visits, it was a hard decision. I kind of knew after I left right then that this would be the place that I'd probably end up at. So I feel like you can figure out a lot of things on the official visits and, um, and just kind of try to take advantage of them and get to know the coaches as well as you can, the, the people, I mean, the athletic staff, uh, everyone, everyone you come into contact with and, and kind of get a feel of what it's going to be like if you go there. Yeah, I think uh, going in, to, if you know you want to play at a collegiate level, you, you got to push yourself extremely hard. I mean, once, once I dedicated myself to tennis, which was right when I kind of hit high school, like full force, I mean, I, I would train three to four hours a day, no matter what, and uh, I was still enrolled in school, so I would train in the morning three days a week at 6 a.m. for an hour and a half before I even went to school, and then after school, I would go practice more and do fitness. I had a workout schedule. So, I mean, you got to be dedicated, and you got to work extremely hard. You, you can't just expect it's going to be right there in your hands, and that oh, I'm just talented, I'm going to be good, like, they're, they're going to give me an offer, like, no, you got to push yourself and you really have to work for it, and uh, the coaches want to see that too.